this is what I've just been bought for Valentine's Day. Not exactly koi related, but we've got a mini aquarium. Got a couple of guppies and maybe uh, some tetras or something in there. It's only 25 litres, but that'll do. And to come with it, that's all right, she's bought me some glow in the darky type stones, fluorescent stones for the bottom. And then we have some little hidey places for the little fishies. And there's like holes going right the way through it in certain places and then we have a castle or a mushroom castle it's quite funky but it's all fluorescent -y, so it should look quite funky in there and then uh, a funky little heater to uh, to keep it at the right temperature Bless her heart, very kind of her. Yeah, because the missus is not majorly into koi, but uh, she does like fishies, so. Gonna, uh, the reason we've gone for this tiny little square tank is I've got a mini aquarium light that will be perfect for this tank, but we were look we was looking for a tank that will fit in one of these squares. So uh, I'll have to clear out one of these squares, possibly this one, and this tank will fit perfectly in there. So uh, once I've got it all set up, I will uh, show you what it looks like. Catch you later. So there we go, guys. Got the little heater at the back there, whatever that says. A little pump that come with it here in the foreground and then I got my little castle my whatever the hell that is and my glow-in-the-dark gravel yeah the lights that come with it really nice little system but they don't fit in this square and I've got just enough room. I think there's still some airlocks in there <laughs> but there's just enough room to lift the lid up and put some food in yeah, definitely some airlocks in there have to give that a shake but, uh, yeah that'll be a nice little home for a couple of tetras and a couple of guppies probably yeah I like it what do you guys think looks really good you have to excuse all my uh, receipts and whatnot I haven't done my books this week but Looks really good and from where I sit on the sofa. I can just see it. And then as you can see, there's my pond window. Right there. So my little seat on the sofa is the perfect view. This table will be going back into the kitchen at some point. So that'll give me an even better view. Right, well that's it for now. I'll catch you all later. So guys, uh, it's four days later. Um, and as you can see, I have some little fishies in there. Uh, they are called Ender's Live Bearers, whatever they are. Uh, but I was uh, advised by the uh, local aquatic store that they're a bit more hardier than the guppies and tetras that I, I wanted. Um, so they're going to be... The best little things to uh, start and cycle the tank. Um, it's had uh, it, the the medicine that come with a kit go in, which was a button on this thing pushed down, um, and that's to help keep your new fish in a new tank nice and healthy. Uh, so that's all been done. It also had obviously the water conditioner uh, from the from day one um, put in to get rid of chlorine and caesarea. Uh, and it's also had the live bacteria uh, that came with it in as well. So there's four in there in total. You can see the three there at the front. Uh, there is another one um, that's a completely different colour, like a bluey, grey, yellow one. Oh, there he is, right down the back corner that, with a pretty yellow tail. Look a little bit like guppies, but uh, they're not. They're live, uh, en endless live bearers. 
the camera will focus, but they're quite pretty. I like them. So, uh, so yeah, so the tank's looking good. I've moved the light uh, to the front so it shines on all the tank. But uh, yeah, we're keeping a nice steady 25 degrees, so that's good. A um, little 20 watt heater in a 25 litre tank, more than enough. So yeah, I'm really liking that. And uh, once the tank's uh, cycled, we can uh, get a few more fishies. Don't know what I'll go for next, but uh, yeah. Watch this space, and uh, every time I put in a new addition, I'll uh, just stick it in one of my usual koi videos. Right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. If you've uh, liked the content, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you all on the next one.